So it's been a fairly uh, monumentous uh, month, I think you'd say, because we finally got into the house. We're, we're now living here. This is uh, actually our home, which is uh, seemed quite an abstract thing for a long point in time because we were just working away, working away, and it was like, actually, you forget that you're trying to make a home that you're going to live in, but we are now living in it, which is, which is wonderful. We've had um, a heat wave of about over 30 degrees or near 30 degrees for, for weeks now. The building has performed incredibly well. I think one of the biggest challenges with low energy architecture is not almost not the, the heating side of it, it's the overheating. Stopping buildings getting too hot, I think, is a real issue for a lot of low energy houses. And that's why we went to the effort and uh, expense and, and, and work to, to do the external louver system. Because if you can stop the heat coming into the building by having louvers or blinds outside the window, you can keep 95% of the solar gain out. If you put those louvers inside the building, you can only ever keep out about 10 or 15%. So we needed external louvering with this expanse of glass and, and the amount of insulation that we've got. The MVHR has not been commissioned and running yet because we're letting all the dust settle so we don't you know, ruin all the pipe, get all the pipes all dusty. The full automotive system, automatic sort of control system is not fully commissioned yet. But given all of that, the house has really got no hotter than sort of 22, 23 at any point. So I am, well, I'm, I'm really happy. I, I couldn't be more satisfied with the way in which the house has operated in this incredible extreme heat. And I think what's very easy to forget is that you know, with climate change, we are going to get more and more longer, hotter summers, or certainly more and more hotter weather. And therefore, you not only need to be designing to stop overheating now, you need to be thinking about how would this house perform with a temperature equivalent to the, you know, the climate equivalent to the Loire Valley or you know, south of France, which is 50 years time what's being predicted. So you need to design a very robust shading overheating strategy or prevention of overheating strategy uh, for any house that you're, you're building now. And I think, I'd like to think that we've got that pretty much bang on with this. A really important part of the design of this house is, is the louvers. Uh, they, they allow us to have such large amounts of glazing um, on the orientation that they are with, without any overhangs. And, and it allows us to dynamically control solar gain. So the amount of energy that we're getting into the building through the windows, we can control absolutely by shutting down the louvers like this, uh, or, or opening them up and, 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 and lifting them out of the way. They're, they're an aluminium external louver and it's from Internorm, the same as the windows. And that was really important to me that the louver supply and the window supply came from the same company so that I had a single point of contact uh, in terms of the installation, how they interacted. Um, and also just simple things like the row colour of the, the louver tracks would absolutely match the row colour of the the window frames because sometimes the same row color isn't always exactly the same texture and finish so that was in, in, important um, the way they they operate is they're tied into the whole smart house system which either you can control from buttons in the building so i've managed to get rid of all of the remote controls for the velux roof lights and the internal windows and for this and that because i just can't be bothered with lots of remote controls in my life i already get confused by the the two or three that we have with the telly. So the idea of having another sort of 10 or 15 floating around the house was kind of no, no thank you. Uh, it's all controlled by one single point and I can do it from an app, which actually we don't use very much. We just use the switches in the room, but either you can have it fully down like this, which means you're blocking out all of the solar gain and, and a lot of the light from entering the room, but then you can open it up. And first of all, you can tilt it to allow more daylight into the room. And there's a very specific design on the louvers themselves, which have these two parabolic surfaces to reflect light off the top of the front side of the louver to the underside of the louver and then bounce it into the room. So without getting solar gain or, or, or very limited amounts of solar gain, you're getting quite a lot of daylight going deep into the room. And then obviously you can just lift the whole thing up and take them up and away and into the to the louver box. It has been uh, a sort of a revelation really in that it, um, 
it just allows you to stop that, that, that heat. You know, you, you can wake up in the morning and, you know, if you've been, you get up at eight or nine o'clock on a Saturday morning and these have been up, you know, you really feel the amount of heat that's coming to the building. You get up, you shut them down, and it's amazing. It just stops. The heat stops. It's then controlled with the, with the roof lights through the back of the building. We can then sort of lose any heat and get really nice cross ventilation. You can leave the sliding doors open behind the blinds so you get the air movement through the blinds. And actually, it's really useful for keeping out flies as well, which, you know, I hadn't really thought about. But if you have the, the louvers sort of open slightly, the flies don't seem to find their way into them, or as many of them don't. So as you can see, they tuck away up behind the louver box and, you know, outside of the very hot period that we've had. So in spring, and winter and uh, autumn, you know, we're going to want that solar gain. So we're going to be able to have as much of that as we want by having the, you know, the, the blinds up. But right now, when we've got a lot of solar gain and we don't need it, we can control it. So given the, the variability of the weather in this country, increasingly seems to me that a sort of a dynamic, active solar control is a, is a, is a really good option.